Okay, so we would like to find it how long it takes from Earth to Venus. Astronomers like to use a yardstick of distance, which is called one astronomical unit, which is distance from Sun to Earth. One astronomical unit is 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters, which is essentially 15 with 10 zeros. So this notation tells you how many zeros you add afterwards. Uh, notice I say 10 zeros because we move this dot over here. Okay. If you would like to know the distance in the fits, we have to multiply this roughly by 3. So this is 4.5 times 10 to the 11 me, uh, feet, sorry, or there must be 10 zeros after 45, which is very long now. Uh, okay, so now let's say we can travel with the speed of a typical car, 60 miles per hour. We don't want to speed uh, during this. Uh, miles per hour, we need to convert to meters because we want to use the same units. 60 miles per hour is, when, if one mile is 1.1600 meters per mile, equivalent to traveling 96 kilometers or 96,000 meters per hour. This is roughly speaking distance to the Richmond, so this is how much we cover per hour. Okay, doesn't sound too strange. Now, if this is distance, distance to the Venus, and this is our speed, then time which it will take us to travel to the Venus is distance over the speed. So here we are plugging our numbers. 4.5 times 10 to the 10. You notice there is 9 because we move decimal point to the right. Uh, 96 times 10 to the 3. Okay, now we do what typically scientists do when we don't have a calculator. We round numbers a little bit to make math easier. So 45 is almost 50, 96 is almost 100. Now my job is easy. I divide 50 by 100, which is just one half. So this is my one half. Now when I count zeros, I used to have nine zeros, and I divide by three zeros. So I'm removing three zeros. So we have one half times 10 to the six hours. Okay, hours, this sounds a lot. So we would like to see how many days it takes. So we're moving up here, one half is 0 0.5 times 10 to the 5 hours. Uh, again, we move this decimal point, that's why there is 5. We divide by 24 hours per day. Again, I do rounding, so it's 25 because 5 by 2.5 divided by 2.5 is 2, so it's easy number to work. So we have 2 times 10 to the 4 Days. We recall that one year 365 days, which I can round to 400 days per year. Now we divide 20,000 days, which is this, by 400 years, and sorry, 400 days, and that, roughly speaking, 50, 50 years driving to the Venus. Actually, slightly longer. 